Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team, bringing you the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. Today we're touring the exclusive Chatham Hills community in Westfield, Indiana. Homes here are recently sold for between $651,000 and $3.25 million, and we're going to check out that bad boy today. Then we're going to take a look at three that currently have for sale signs planted in the front yard. And I'm going to wrap things up with a current market update so you have insights on how you can be a winner in this market. Okay, let's not waste any time. Let's get after it. Okay, we're going to start things off with the most expensive recent sale in the community. This is at 847 Ashbury Road. It's 10,207 square feet, plus it's got a five car heated garage. Welcome home to this exceptional custom built home. It has beautiful custom cabinets with a gorgeous center island and premium appliances. There's six bedrooms, plus six full baths and two half baths. The master bedroom sports a spa-like bath and heated floors. And get this, it includes a three level elevator that goes to a private in-law suite. The basement even has 13 foot ceilings. I think it's trying to keep up with the ceiling height in the other two floors. Then let's step outside to the expansive covered deck with an outdoor kitchen, a spacious gunite hot tub, and a great backyard. This one was built in 2017. It sold in just 55 days in the dead of winter for 3.25 million. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna to wanna to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Let's take a look at our first house that's currently for sale. This one's at 21024 Chatham Ridge Boulevard. It is listed by Berkshire Hathaway, but FYI, I can help you with any house in the state, regardless of who it's listed by, myself or another broker. This one has a total of 45, 65 square feet, and it's in the minimalist tradition. Step inside to find impeccable craftsmanship. The cathedral ceilings are adorned with rustic wood beams, and they grace the main floor with an open concept. There's a luxurious floor to ceiling fireplace, which is the center point of the main gathering room and you've got a fully appointed master bedroom ensuite which creates an owner's retreat. There's a total of five bedrooms and three and a half baths, and there's as yet undeveloped space that uh, can cater to whatever your whim might be. You top it off with a private tree-lined backyard, which is a perfect place to escape to the peace and quiet. This one was built in 2021, and the ticket on it is 1.4. Maybe you've heard rumors about all that Chatham Hills has to offer to those who live in the community. There are two memberships. There's a premier golf membership and a sport and social membership, which, hey, it includes some golf too. There are so many benefits that I can't even remember them all. So I'm gonna share these with you. We'll start off with an 18 hole Pete Dye golf course, followed by a nine hole Pete Dye executive course. You've got heated uh, driving ranges, you have camps, clinics, teams, leagues, uh, all that type of thing that you'd expect in just a premier golf community. Then you got tennis ball courts and pickleball courts and leagues for it too. Then let's move over to the pool. There are multiple pools and uh, there's something for everybody. You've got a, a toddler's uh, learn how to swim program. You have a swim club and swim teams and you even got a swim up bar. Then you've got a two-story fitness center. It's even got a basketball court and a four lane bowling alley. You've got uh, group uh, classes and you even have childcare. And there's more, hey, there's playgrounds and dog parks and sledding hills and you have access to the Monon Trail. And I think you have like four restaurants that you can go to. So there's an awful lot. They say memories are made here. I can understand why. If you'd like more information on how you get to join when you do buy in Chatham Hills, just give us a quick uh, message below and we'll send you all the information that you need. Okay, let's move on to house number two that's currently for sale. We're talking about 1280 Chatham Ridge Court. This one's listed by Keller Williams, Indy Metro Northeast. It is in the modern American style and it too has an open concept. The design affords equal opportunity to enjoy the interior as well as the natural landscape out of doors. The main gathering room features a wood accented ceiling that flows into the dining room and into the lanai. The kitchen is absolutely stunning with custom cabinetry, Elbrus quartz waterfall, and a butler's pantry. The basement boasts a family room, a hidden bourbon room, wet bar, game room, and two bedroom en suites. This one was built in 2023. 
and the ticket on it is 1.8 million. Okay, if you're undecided about whether you need to buy or sell first, this is not my first rodeo. I'll be glad to talk and share the pros and cons of going one direction or the other, and then you can be the judge for your own self about what works best for your own personal situation. By the way, we offer a free room-by-room -room analysis. There's no cost and there's no obligation. And I guarantee you, that I can help make you money and I can help save you money. My staff and I prepared a short video film about this. It highlights 13 key points that you'll wanna pay attention to because they'll help you sell your home for more money. Plus, I'll share secrets on how I sold my last five homes in a grand total of less than 30 days. Okay, our third home that has a for sale sign in the front yard. This one is at 1355 Forest Hills Drive and it's challenging to be the most expensive and the most exclusive sale in the community. This one is listed by FC Tucker Company, and as always, I can help you. This one's set on a one acre wooded lot with breathtaking views in the backyard into the 17th fairway beyond. It's highlighted by floor to ceiling, glass windows and doors. The kitchen is set off by an abundance of custom cabinets, a center island, a spacious pantry, which just about has a kitchen within itself. It's got a sub-zero refrigerator, a 48-inch dual fuel range, and a Bosch dishwasher. The master bedroom features tray ceilings, crown molding, and other fine carpentry details. There are six bedrooms total, and four of them are en suites. There are great views which set the tone throughout, and I could go on and on, but I think you get the idea. This was built in 2022. It's got 7,167 square feet and the ticket on it is 3.4. Now maybe you've heard, Zillow has just named Indianapolis the fourth hottest housing market in the country and good houses can sell fast. If you wanna take a look, walk through one of these houses or any other house that you see advertised, just give me a quick call or text. Hey there, over the years I've worn lots of hats in the real estate industry. So today I'm gonna to share in this video what they were, what I've done, and most importantly, how that can benefit you. Hey, I bought my first house while I was still in college. So yes, I've been a first time home buyer. And if you are a first time home buyer, I know what that feels like and I've made systems that help so that you come to learn what is going to happen next so that it takes some of that anxiety out of the whole transaction and makes it a lot more enjoyable experience. Hey, six months later, I bought my first duplex and fixed it up. What a learning curve that was. I can remember we were in the kitchen and we were uh, hooking up the gas range. This is the first time I'd ever done this, okay? And all of a sudden we had flames and my buddy grabs a bucket of really nasty water that we'd use to clean the floor and he throws it over on me and oh God. Now, hey, these years later, I, I ran the uh, gas lines for my entire house and for my barn put in the furnace, water heaters, everything, okay? So I learn something new every day and I still do. That work led to being a contractor. You know, we were those guys that had uh, the sign on their truck, you know, like no job too big or too small. The biggest job we ever did was we uh, rehabbed a 42 unit apartment project. I mean, we didn't take it to the studs, but it was pretty darn close. The most interesting job we ever did was we lifted a house up off the foundation tore out the basement walls, then relayed all the basement walls and set the house back down on the foundation. Hey, because of that kind of experience, I can walk through a house with you and I can point out opportunities and I can answer your questions about, can we open up this wall or can we, whatever the case might be. Hey, and when it's all said and done, I know a guy that can do all those things that you might want done. And you know what? They do good work, they're reliable, and they're affordable. The next hat I wore was property manager. It had something like 500 tenants I was responsible for. And so today I'm an affiliate, or my company is an affiliate of the Key Renter Indianapolis North franchise. And so we can help you with all of your property management needs if you're wanting to buy a house for an investment purpose. This led to me being a builder of single family homes, apartments, condominiums, so when it comes to new construction, it wouldn't be my first rodeo, which means to you, I can be a difference maker for your benefit. Too many people have bad experiences with builders. I can put my experience to work for you, facilitating successful outcomes with new construction homes. It was kind of a natural outgrowth from builder to developer, and I oversaw the engineering and the state highway cuts and putting down new streets and sewer lines and water lines, 
building in all kinds of weather, all kinds of building sites. Remember one down in Brown County, we were literally hanging off the hillside, uh, putting up uh, siding in about 40 uh, mile an hour winds. Wasn't a lot of fun, but we got it done. Hey, I've also done planning and zoning work is my development process, and I do that for clients now. And that's something that can come in real handy when people are buying ground or want to build their own house on their own piece of ground. I did a little work way back in the day as a home inspector, which means to you I can drill down into the reports and I can work for the best outcome for you under the circumstances. For several years, I was an appraiser, conventional FHA, VA. Again, I know the drill. I know how to read the report and I know what can be done about it, which means to you have a greater likelihood of the deal closing. For 17 years, I was a mortgage lender. In fact, I grew a mortgage broker to become the second largest mortgage broker in the state that year. I know the ropes and can at times make you aware of opportunities that will literally make dreams possible in your specific situation. As a mortgage lender, one of my specialties was construction lending, including rehab financing. I can help turn a house with good bones into the home you want before you even move into it. Or I can help you to build your dream home on your own piece of ground. About 15 years ago, I worked as a commercial real estate due diligence inspector across the United States and Canada for the great uh, large Wall Street banks and investment firms. I worked all the way from Calgary to Charleston and from Toronto to Biloxi. Um, I did about 500 properties a year and this was everything from multifamily apartment projects to factories huge distribution centers, grocery stores, restaurants, hospitals, doctor's offices, retirement homes, high-rise office buildings. Hey, I got those assignments because I could walk into any market in the entire continent and come up with recommendations for these large investment firms uh, so that they could get the best value out of their properties. So, hey, if they trusted me to do that, I hope you will trust me with your situation too. Throughout my entire career, just about, I've been a licensed realtor, both here and in, and in Colorado. And I've worn a lot of hats. In fact, it's hard to find a realtor who has the depth of experience that I do. All in all, I've played a role in something like 5,000 successful transactions, which means to you, you have a high likelihood you will achieve success. So before you sign on with your brother-in-law's third cousin, because she's family, Consider if you really want to put the uh, largest financial transaction of your life in the hands of, well, your brother-in-law's third cousin who just got their license. Bottom line, there are good reasons why 50% of my business is repeat business and another 25% is referral. My clients tell me I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. The city of Westfield has a lot to offer. Many amenities, not only in its own boundaries, but also in the surrounding area. Westfield is the northernmost suburb of Indianapolis. It sits at the top of Hamilton County, which is the wealthiest county in the state. Highway 31 runs right down the center of it. That's probably the, about the busiest highway in the state other than the interstates. It's about 10 minutes down to Carmel, about the same to 465, which is the beltway that runs around the uh, city of Indianapolis and will take you anywhere you wanna go in the metro area. It's about 20 miles to the downtown circle. That's uh, a, probably about a 45 minute drive. Not that you're probably gonna have a whole lot of need to go all the way downtown unless you're going to a Colts game or a Pacers game or out to eat someplace or something like that. Now, State Road 32 runs east and west, kind of cuts through the middle of the city because the city itself is about a seven by seven mile square and you have roads running about every mile north and south and east and west. But 31 and 32 are your key travel routes. Now let's talk jobs. Westfield is largely a bedroom community. Most people work outside of Westfield, either in Carmel or down along the Beltway. But there are some jobs in the schools, in the, a limited number in manufacturing, and then just in your basic services. Okay, let's talk schools. There's six elementary schools, an intermediate, and a middle school, and a high school. Neat thing about the high school, it's got an enrollment of 2,400, which is considerably smaller than most of its neighbors. And some people just might like that a great deal. Now the system is rated A plus by niche.com. It is ranked number six out of 290 public school systems in the state. That puts it in the top 2%, which is just crazy good. 
It is also home to Garin Catholic High School with an enrollment of about 800 students. And it is ranked in the top 5% of all Catholic high schools in the United States year in and year out. So you have two great options for our where to send your kids to school. Moving on, let's talk uh, hospitals and medical care. There's a Riverview Hospital basically at the junction of uh, highways 31 and 32. There are many exceptional hospitals located about 15 minutes south in Carmel. These are right on 31. They are, uh, include the IU Health System, uh, Ascension St. Vincent, and the uh, Riley's Children's Hospital. Surrounding those are many specialty hospitals like Heart Hospital, Oncology, Women's Hospital, um, Cardiovascular, and there are many, many ancillary medical buildings surrounding these hospitals. There are tons of healthcare opportunities to satisfy all your needs about 15 minutes south of the main part of Westfield. There is a lot to do in Westfield. The city and the organizations have put together a full schedule of events. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of a few of the major ones a little bit later in this video. And any discussion of Westfield has to begin with Grand Park. Stay tuned to get the full scoop, but there's more to Westfield. Looking at Parks and Rec, there's 12 parks with playgrounds, splash pads, disc golf, a skate park, picnic tables, shelters, gazebos, and 94 miles of trails, even an equestrian trail. Now, when it comes to golf, there's only one public course. So you either have to join a country club or go to nearby Carmel or Noblesville, which has many good options for golf. Music lovers have it better off. Cool Creek Park offers six concerts during the summer, and there's the new Jam at the Junction, which has a concert every Friday night during the summer. Connor Prairie is not too far off. It seats 8,000 people and has 12 concerts during the summer, which are very well attended, and everybody has a good time. We're gonna visit there, and we're also gonna stick our head in the door at Ruoff Music Center. Now, Ruoff is not in Westfield, but it is well, maybe about 30 minute drive away. And uh, it is the gem when it comes to music in the state of Indiana. In 2018, it sold more tickets than any other music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, it is in the top five of ticket sales worldwide. So be sure to stay tuned to see what's going on there. Okay, when it comes to shopping, along State Road 32 to the east are strip centers. To the west, you've got uh, the development of big box stores. And if you go south, right on the border with Carmel, you've got Greyhound Pass. And there are a lot of big box stores, not to mention a lot of other stores. And then right across the street in Carmel, is the Clay Terrace, which is an open air mall with even more stores. So there is plenty of shopping opportunity for people that live in Westfield. Okay, let's talk restaurants. Park Street has a number that come very highly recommended. My favorite is the Italian house. You're gonna need to get a reservation probably about two weeks in advance. It's that good. Now there are a number of uh, brew pubs and wine bistros that get quite a bit of attention. But my other fave is Grindstone on the Monon. Be sure to get the pickle brine chicken sandwich. Sounds kind of odd, but it's really pretty darn good. Now, if you'd like to learn everything there is to know about Westfield, Indiana, or to walk through a home you've seen advertised, just text me or book a call. Okay, let's jump in the ride and go take a look at these world famous attractions. Let's talk the Grand Park Sports Complex in Westfield, Indiana. Evidently, the City Fathers had seen the movie, Field of Dreams, starring Kevin Costner, where he said, if we build it, they will come. If you build it, you will come. Actually, he didn't quite say that, but I'm gonna paraphrase it since that's how it's usually paraphrased anyways. If we build it, they will come. So in 2007, the City Fathers came up with this idea and envision Grand Park. Seven years later in 2014, Grand Park opened and it continues to grow. There are 400 plus acres, there are 31 sports fields, 26 ball diamonds. There are three super large indoor facilities and that's just for starters. You put that all together and it makes for one of the 10 largest sports complexes in the country. Let me repeat that, one of the 10 largest sports complexes in the country. It is the home of the NFL's Indianapolis Colts training camp, and it's a host of untold number of youth and adult sports competitions, not to mention leagues and camps, and it draws 
athletes and their families from all over the country. It attracts somewhere between one and two million people to the complex and to the city of Westfield. That brings in millions of dollars to the local economy and it makes Westfield a very busy place, especially during the summer months. The Grand Park Sports Complex is truly a grand park. Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. The numbers are in for April for the greater Indianapolis housing market. The median sales price has bounced back to its high of 300,000. Sales and new listings were both up, which, hey, considering the time of year, that's really not a whole lot of surprise, although they are better than a year ago this time. All that caused sales to be a tad lower. Last year, they were running on median about six days. Today, they're all the way up to eight days. Not sure that makes a whole lot of difference. Sales are going off at 1% under list on average, and the active inventory has increased to 3,016 homes. And everyone appreciates whatever loosening there is in the market. Over in Hamilton County, there's a somewhat similar pattern. Although prices haven't reached back to their peak, uh, they are settling at about 441,000 on average. Both sales and listings were up substantially, like 13 and 16% respectively. And the median days on market is just six days, which means good houses are selling fast. The average home is going off at list price and inventory remains tight. Hey, so what can you do about tight inventory? What I say is, be like a Boy Scout, be prepared. Builders are offering rates as low as 4.99% on a 30-year fixed rate. And I've seen banks uh, offering closing cost grants of $5,000, which means they don't have to be repaid. And I've even seen some sellers of existing homes doing the same. And I know of a couple banks that are offering 100% financing with no mortgage insurance. Hey, and if you have a down payment, you still might want to consider going that route and then taking those funds and paying off whatever installment loans and car loans and trucks and boats and planes and all your credit cards and student loans or whatever you might have, it just might work. Hey, to learn how you can take advantage of any of these strategies, hit me up below, give me a quick call or text and make it a great day. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do our tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.